Good evening and thanks for joining us. A multi-million dollar project could bring more student housing to downtown Terre Haute. It's a story we first reported last night. Today we're learning more about the proposal and what it could mean for a staple of the community. New Sen's Lindsay Yates has the latest. Thousands of athletes have spent countless hours on this very court. The Boys and Girls Club location on 3rd Street in Terre Haute opened its doors in 1922. Since then, it's been shaping the lives of young children. All of our programs are growing, including our athletic programs, so it's definitely uh, our position and it's our goal to make sure that we're going to be able to provide effective programming and athletic programs into the future. Because changes could be on the horizon, at least for the building. Enix Student Living, a company based out of Indianapolis, says plans have been submitted to the city. The $25 million project would offer a mix of student apartments. It would be our goal uh, to consolidate our programs into one location. So if the proposal were to go through, the club could be searching for a new home court. We're going to be looking to support uh, when and where and how that's going to be is all still in the planning phases, but it would definitely be in connection with the amount of support we're going to be able to gain from the community. Even though in the future this court could be at a different location, the club wants parents and student athletes to know none of their programs will suffer because of the changes. So it's definitely uh, our position and it's our goal to make sure that we're going to be able to provide effective programming and athletic programs into the future. And while a lot is still up in the air, Coach Barr knows one thing for sure. And it's vital for us that we look towards the future and we're going to have the facilities that are going to be able to uh, provide the opportunities for the youth that we serve in the Wabash Valley. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Tony Cassasia, Lindsay Yates, News 10. A timeline depends on when and if the sale is approved. We'll continue to keep you updated on any decisions that are made.